What up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to modify Civ 6 mods for personal use. I'm going to go over downloading the mod, uh, locating the mod, editing the mod, and uh, best practices throughout. And I'll also be covering resources that can help uh, your modding experience. So let's get started. Now to modify a mod, you're going to need a mod to modify. So we're going to go with Steam here. And we're going to navigate to Community, Workshop. And we're going to search for Civ 6. What am I doing? There it is. And we're going to search for a particular mod. Very simple mod. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to unsubscribe. Subscribe. So now I downloaded it. So it should be like a brand new uh, file for me. So open files, navigate to that mods at wherever you have it. Um, it would be what? Programs. So Steam. Is it Steam apps? Workshop. Content two eight zero seventy. And these are all your mods that you download through Steam. This is the pathway right here, for, at least for me. And the top one, like you can you sort by date, you want the uh latest date here. Click on that, and what you want to do is so that that's the one we're looking for. We're going to cut this. All right, and we're gonna make a we're gonna do a new folder right here. This is our backup backup mods. So we're gonna be if there's something wrong with it, we can use this for reference to see what went wrong and like half production or whatever could be the name so we know instead of like some random numbers all right so i'm gonna copy that and we're gonna put it where we're actually gonna modify it okay so back to files here documents well, my games fallout oh, not fallout sid Myers, uh mods and we're gonna paste it here these are our custom mods right here this is where you want to put it you don't want to modify mods uh in the civ not civ but the steam mods you want to modify it here in your documents okay now we're actually going to modify the mod okay and we're going to be using notepad plus plus so what we're going to do is first we're going to go to the mod info file and we're going to edit with notepad plus plus um no all right, so this is just a bunch of info for the program to tell you what the mod is like in game when you open up the mod in game and stuff. Um, you can change the mod ID here to whatever between the quotations. One half production is what I'm gonna name it for the ID. And I'm going to change its name to half per one half production as well. Just so I know it's my uh, my mod, or at least my mod that I've edited myself. And the mod info mod or file is very important because a lot of times this will have like like the file order and rec you know prerequisites and just a bunch of you know cool stuff that you can learn just by researching different mods when you download them just like this one and just look at them but yeah you can change the description to a teaser when you hover over it you know everything oh uh and props to insane lampshade i'm using your mod as a example i hope you don't mind 
Okay, so that's that. Make sure you save it when you're done modifying it, the mod info file. And this is the actual mod, the SQL file. So open or edit with Notepad++. Plus plus. And now you actually see how the mod works. Okay, so what this mod's doing is like editing tables and stuff. So it says update buildings, set cost equals round cost time, you know, divided by two, where the cost is greater than one. So that's what that code does. And it says the same thing here for units right here. Um, this is like code talk. You don't even need that. It could just be like cost divided by two. Divided by two. And again, it can just be cost divided by two. You know what? Let's take this to the extreme. All right. So in game, let's like flip it to like times, oops, times a thousand, dude. Just insane, dude. Just impossible to do. Uh, times, oops, thousand. All right. We're going to save that, and we should be able to see that in-game. But before we do that, like, I just want to say, like, again, like, looking at a lot of different mods, you can learn what you can, uh, what you can change. And this green text right here is, um, what you call non, like, code. It's not, like, executed. This stuff is executed right here. And it's got to be formatted the same way. Like, at the end of the code, there needs to be, what is this called, like a semicolon? That's what you need. If you take that off, like, it's not going to execute that. It's just not going to not gonna work. In fact, anything after it will not execute as well. Oops. So, like, if you forget one semicolon and you write a bunch of code under here, it won't get executed. This top one probably will, because it's got a semicolon, but everything below it wouldn't, because you missed this one semicolon right here. And you'll and there's other uh, files besides SQL. There's also like XML and LUA. Um, LUA is like super, super complicated, or it can be, I'm sorry. Um, but X, XML is, is actually like mostly the same as SQL. It's just like, a, it's just a different format. It's a different way to do the same thing. They're doing the same things for the most part. You can do a little more with XML, but SQL is like the easiest and I think most powerful for low effort. All right. So now we're in game. Okay. So. We're going to go additional content mods. And I think I have a mod that manages mods. Um, it's whatever. So this might look different than yours, but the, but the thing is the same. So I'm going to disable all real quick. And this should disable all my expansion packs as well. And this is right here, the mod that we modified. I renamed it one half production. So it's not compatible, but ignore warnings for mod. Enable, so it should work, all right? And it's the only mod that's enabled. So if it works and it makes, it says half production, but it's gonna times cost by a thousand if it works. So let's go ahead and hop into a game. Okay, so we're in game. Um, we're gonna start our city here. And we're gonna try to produce something. And everything is super expensive. So our mod worked. And now I'm going to go over some resources to help you mod. I've already gone over Notepad++. It's just a great text editor. Um, and I'm going to go over DB Browser SQ Lite here. I guess SQ Cipher might be the same thing, but we're going to be using SQ Lite. And what it allows you to do is browse the tables that you uh, edit for SQL editing. And 
it's just really handy and can show you what you can edit. So to use it, you just what click on it. You don't need it that big. Uh, file, open database, and you want to find the Civ 6 uh, debug gameplay. So you just navigate to like documents, my games, Sid Meier's Civ 6, cache, and debug gameplay. And this is the tables from the most recent game. Okay, these are all the tables. And we edited buildings and units. So we can just go to like buildings here. I can find it. Right click, browse table. And then you can see here where we edited. So you can see our, uh, our effects took effect. Our mods took effect. Anywhere where the cost was greater than one, it was times by a thousand. And wherever the cost was one, it uh it stayed one so the building palace didn't get any more expensive yeah and that's how you use sql light and that's most of what i wanted to show you uh the more mods that you edit uh the more you learn you know you'll learn more about uh xml files and lua files just by editing those two all right uh they're not too radically different you can just learn how they work just by looking at them, okay? And uh, do not be afraid to uh, back up the mods that you modify as well. So if you know you have a working mod, it's always a good idea to make a backup of it, you know, if you're gonna continually modify it. That way you have something to go back to if something breaks, you know? And uh, some mods rely on like certain DLC. So, you know, you might have to use certain DLC or have it owned for your mods to work um, and there's stuff even on those tables here that are not possible to edit for whatever reason like the game just doesn't let you so uh, the possibilities aren't infinite but there's a lot of possibilities in editing uh, or modding Civ 6 and I encourage you to branch out and be creative if you can because honestly it's, it's just really fun you know it just it's just fun to tinker with mods and tinker with Civ 6 so I hope this uh, video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, I'll try to answer as best I can. And until next time, take it easy.